today we are making a video on Venom Linux. Here you can see we have a Venom Linux 4.0. So here is the boot menu. In order to boot in a live mode, go with the Venom Linux 4.0. For debug, this is for RAM and RAM debug and boot existing OS. And these are two few options like a reboot and power off. So let's boot it in a live mode by clicking on a boot Venom Linux 4.0. Click on enter. It's going to take a minute of a maximum to boot it in a live mode and give us our desktop. And it should be taking like a minimum of 30 to 40 seconds because uh, some good Linux distros boot it in a 30 to 40 seconds usually. Most of them boot it in a, a 30 to 40 seconds. Uh, some Linux distros will take maximum of a minute or maybe more than a, min a minute. So we should be having our Linux distro uh, booting in a few seconds I guess. And I forgot to mention that I'm using a virtualization which is a VMware with 80 GB of hard disk, 4 GB of RAM and two processors running. And here is the some info guide as you can also call it. Venom installation can be done by running Venom installer from the train, uh, terminal or install through open box menu. Login for live ISO. Here is the uh, welcome message. It says, uh, let's try to change the display resolution if it's uh, available. Desktop preference. These are the some of the app options available. On that one setting, you have uh, open box. Open box. Let's try to open the terminal first. And here is the NeoFetch. The latest version is a Venom Linux 4.0, kernel is almost a latest, LTS 6.1.2.21 and uh, open box resolution is uh, 800 into 600. You can change the display resolution by putting some commands. I'm just going to stay like this. I don't want to change the display settings. So theme is a uh, arc box and uh, memory is almost uh, 300 MB. Uh, on the memory side, it's uh, pretty good. It should be low end PC. Uh, it should be good at uh, low end PC. You can use it in a low end PC with a 2 GB of RAM or some normal processor like a Pentium like that. It should be running good. So let's type in few other commands like uh, inxi dash sv8 if it's uh, available or installed. That's not available. Let's type in cat fallen slash etc fallen slash issue and uh, hit enter and the login passwords are here as you can see venom venom and uh, root root for the root if you want to install you can use the uh, commands here so let's type in htop if it's available here is the htop the ram is almost uh, 200 mb of a 4 gb of ram cpu is also pretty much good uh, it's running under 10% or you can call it as a 15% under 15% These are some of the processes So let's close this thing and uh, open the file manager now File manager is a pacman fm 1.3.2 Let's uh, close the uh, file manager too. Let's close this thing uh, Here is a web browser Let's open the web browser web browser should be like a firefox I guess because uh, Firefox is a usual or a default web browser in every Linux distros. Some Linux distros should be having also a Chrome browser, uh, Microsoft Edge and a Falcon like that. I think uh, it should be Firefox because it takes uh, 20 seconds uh, maximum to open. So instead of waiting, let's it opened. No problem. Let's uh, check the version which version is available for the venom linux it's a triple 1.0.1 which is almost latest version the latest version of firefox should be 112 i guess uh, i don't know it is released or not so let's type in venom linux i found it in a uh, source forge so i don't think it has a, their own website uh, I'm using a VPN so it triggered the Google recapture. No problem. Let's uh, verify this thing. It should take a few seconds. Crosswalk, click on verify. It should be verified. 
accept all I think this is the official website of there let's uh, click on Venom Linux it's a lightweight uh, advanced Linux users if you want to read it you can read it I have no problem and here is the release note a 4.0 was released on 13-9-2022 uh, it's almost a year they didn't uh, even release a new version no problem we have the old version so let's uh, try to use the old version here are the mirrors if you want to go with a uh, github soulforge uh, osdn you can go with it uh, osdn and soulforge has a live cd and uh, github as a root file system you can choose any options i'm just going to use a uh, soulforge because i downloaded it from the soulforge you can go with uh, osdn also and it should take like a five seconds if you remove all this thing uh, url just uh, put it with the uh, files and uh, click on enter it should be opening the files as you can see i downloaded this version which is a uh, 2023-03-28 as you can see it's a updated version of venom linux i forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video or in the middle of the video so these are some info if you want to read you can read it it's a website which is a venomlinux.org is the website so this is the website uh, you can download anywhere you want or just go to the source forge or download this thing it should take a uh, five seconds and your download should be available here i'll say i'll show you how much is the file size 1.5 gb let's close this thing we don't need it anymore here is a command here is a welcome screen if you want to read it you can read it i don't want to read it so let's close this thing install venom this is the installation process if you want to install you can install cli programs here is a htop some programs are here so let's try to open all these things and see let's uh, quit it let's open another one mc let's close this another one has stop away i already see the saw that irsi so let's close this thing it's not closing let's uh, see accessories why can't we please close this thing let's try to open box auto start about the genie 1.38 So let's open some of the apps like a uh, leaf pad and uh, picom leaf pad is uh, 0.8.19 let's close this thing development we saw development also firefox we already saw customize look and feel it's, it says it's uh, lightweight but it's taking a lot of time i don't know why desktop preference open box configuration manager nothing is opening just uh, here are the themes you can choose any themes you can install themes install create a theme do anything you want windows move and resize mouse desktop margins margins dock here are the customization things preferred applications and tin2 settings let's check the version 17.0.2 i think we have that much only we also saw this all on the advanced setting conk rc tint ob menu generator open box 
I think we have that much only. I think let's end the video. And before ending the video, let me show you my channel and end the video. Again, Firefox should take like a 20 seconds maximum. There's no other desktop features other than the time and the calendar. And this is the workspace. And this is the app menu, which is a simple because it's a open box and we have our Firefox opened. Uh, people who want to watch my content without subscribing, uh, you just need to type youtube.com colon slash 9 to file Linux in your favorite browser of your mobile device, TV or a tab. Any device, if you're using a web browser, you need to type in youtube.com forum slash 9 to file Linux. Uh, if you're using a YouTube app, you just need to type uh, 9 to file Linux in uh, any devices, whether it's a mobile, tab or any TV or anything. Uh, if you're using a, yeah, a YouTube app, just type in 9 to file Linux. If you're using a web browser, just type completely URL like this. Click on enter. I'm using a VPN. It should take a few more seconds. Uh, like a, click on accept all. I'm using a VPN. So it triggered the cookies thing. We should be having our channel here. I'll be posting two videos daily without missing any day. If you go to the about section, you will be seeing here that I will be posting videos without missing any day. These are the timings you need to visit at this timing. If you are not subscribed, I don't want to force you to subscribe. It's clearly up to you. It's your opinion. I respect your opinion. Uh, if you want to watch my content without subscribing, you need to visit at these timings. The video should be available before the timings because uh, I will put it in a premiere. So you should be having an idea of what content will be available that day. And here is the community. This is the place where I will be giving the news, uh, latest news of the Linux distros of the Linux packages. Any news will be here. Uh, again, if you are here for the only Linux content, just go with the playlist section and scroll down and you will be finding Linux. Under Linux, go with the view full playlist, click on view full playlist. And here are the videos. I already made uh, like a 1558 videos, which is almost uh, around 1.6. Okay, I cover like a 70 to 80 percent of every Linux distro or every variety of Linux distro or every different types of Linux distro you can call it. Uh, I made almost every type of videos. So these are the videos. If you want to play all or shuffle, do anything you want, you can do that. Uh, if you want to search the specific Linux distro in my channel, just go with the search here. Click on search and type in the specific term or a specific Linux distro, for example, like a MX Linux. And it should be having the latest videos will, uh, latest videos will be available here. Whether it's a alpha version, development version, beta version, pre-release, whatever it may be. Uh, as soon as the ISO file is released, the content will be available right that second. So I will be posting the latest news, latest uh, things the here. So you don't need to visit other channels. If you want to visit, you can visit. I don't force you anything like that. So I'll be releasing latest news. That's the point I want to mention. So again, if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. If you don't want, it's clearly up to you. No problem with me. So again, let's end the video. And uh, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. It helps me. It helps me make good content for you. Other than that, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out. I already made other videos on uh, other Linux distro uh, because I post two videos daily. So if you want to visit that, uh, I will be, the videos should be available uh, after watch this video and uh, watch that other video too. So again, thanks for watching.